know, 2000 Buddha fans have got to go there and hopefully, hopefully roars onto a victory, but you know what it is, it's, it's hard to see now. I can't take it at Norwich, I can't stand Norwich, it's that club that just irritates me. Yo guys, what is going on? And yes, before we get started, let's point out the obvious, this audible little thing here. Ignore it during the video, I apologise that it's there. Uh, many people may be staring at that instead of staring at my eyes. Apologies, I can't get rid of it, I've tried, it is what it is. Tomorrow night though, Barnsley's out at Riverside Stadium, 7.45 kickoff, live on Sky Sports Football. For anybody that's not going to the game, like myself, I can't be at the match tomorrow, I'm actually working all this week. I'm working 4.35 until quarter to one in the morning. So there's no way me seeing the game. You could simply put your holidays in. It's been a long year. My holidays have all been used up. It is what it is. Uh, it's the same as the Luton away in a couple of weeks. Again, I'm on the same shift as what I am tonight. So I missed the Luton away game as well. So two games that obviously, you know, I can't even cover on my channel. I also can't do a match day vlog for because ultimately I'm not there. Cards this Saturday. It's ridiculous. Train prices, £140 to go to Cardiff. Living up in Newcastle, I can't get down to Middlesbrough in order to get on the bus in time. So I have to miss Cardiff. So I watch song be on my channel on Saturday. But, you know, look at Barnes. I think Barnes did defend very well, you know. Uh, decent finishing position. Decent teams. Decent manager. Everything was good about them last year. This year, it's completely different. 20 seconds out of the league table. 8 points. Just not great. And I don't really know what's going on with Barnes this season. I mean, don't get me wrong. I know they lost Alex Mowat. Uh, I think DK went back to America, I believe. I can't tell me that them two players have just... All of a sudden left and then Barnsley have just sort of, I don't know, filtered out into this 22nd spot inside the league table. It's very, very strange. But whether it's, you know, the finished playoffs a few seasons ago and now all of a sudden, you know, bottom end of the table. It's very, very strange for Barnsley. I hope things do pick up for them though. As I've already said, well, and many times before, I do like Barnsley. I have a lot of time for the fans. I do think that they're a cracking football club. Um, and ultimately, you know, I don't want to see Barnsley get relegated because during the years, I do feel kind of sorry for Barnsley fans because it's always up and down, up and down, up and down. You want to see your team sort of cemented inside of one league. I think, you know, a bit more backing, a few more players coming inside of January, finish mid-table, be a good finish for Barnsley, to be fair. Um, as for Middlesbrough, yeah, come off the back of a positive 2-0 win. I did actually see, manage to see the game on Saturday, and uh, from what I could see, we looked all right. Yeah, we looked all right at times, and, you know, we passed the ball about well and you know, got into decent spaces. One player that did actually impress me on Saturday was uh, Martin Piero. I thought he showed was exactly what he can do. You know, the reason why I don't know if he bought him, he's showing him little glimpses now of, you know, finally adapting to the English game, finally he's trying to adapt to the championship and, you know, life around it and everything else. Because the championship is quite hard to play in, fast-paced league and what have you, so, you know, he, you know, he has to get up to speed with that, but I think he's doing all right, you know, within that sense. But well, Martin Piero was really, really good on Saturday. You know, and of course, two goals, you know, doing Josh Coburn, getting his goal, you know, his celebration, you know, you can see the passion, you can see the adulation on his face, brilliant for him to get his goal, assisted by Martin Piero. And of course, the penalty. Well put away from super Paddy Muck, Messi, Paddy Muck, Nair. Bottom right hand corner, can't complain too much. You know, he made it 1-0, Coburn made it 2-0 later on. And a 2-0 will against Peterborough. I thought Peterborough did all right second half. You know, started coming to the game a little bit more. You know, started attacking us and what have you. But Borough's class short in the end. A 2-0 win for us. So, happy days. You know, we're back into 12th. Win tomorrow. If results go our way, back into 8th. And, you know, it really does bring out some positivity within the fan base as well. You know, if we can get into 8th position by, you know, Wednesday night... I think everyone will be happy. I don't think anybody will be upset. I think everybody will be happy with that. Eighth place going into Saturday's game. A weird card. If everybody's, you know, we get nothing in Cardiff ever. So it's going to be a tough game. Mick McCarthy there. I know they've just been walloped off Swansea 3-0. Sorry, Cardiff fans for a reminder. But I uh, 3-0 on Sunday for Swansea against Cardiff. It's going to be a tough game, no doubt about it. But, um, you know, overall, you know, you're going to try and beat the team that's in front of you. So hopefully you can get past Barnsley. But we're going to that game on Saturday, you know, with six points behind us beating Peter Butter. And Barnsley, so you know, we'll wait and see. Will I change the lineup? Not really. Maybe bring Lee Pelletier in. I know he's back from suspension, and to be fair, we need some defenders. We've only got one at the minute. Uh, of course, Lee Pelletier coming back in now, make it two defenders. So, you know, we're slowly getting there, but you know, what's your guys' prediction? Mine's gonna go for a 2 1 butter. Hopefully, get three points. Hopefully, Matt Pierre will actually get to go. Come on, Martin, get your shooting boots on, mate. And uh, like I say, hopefully, three points with the butter. As always, take care of yourself. Up the butter.